Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming, all right? Today we're gonna talk about Arg max, the maximum number of arguments you can have. Uh, this is in bash, but this is actually a limit enforced by your operating system. So have you ever seen an error message like this? You're running something on the terminal, maybe you're giving it a lot of arguments or you're having like expand over a glob, maybe you have like a star here, trying to ls star and there's just too many files and you get that weird message like argument list too long. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out what's going on. So I'll show you some examples right here. We're on bash, so of course we can run echo one dot dot 10. And this is curly brace expansion. It will expand that into one, two, three, four, you know, all the way up to 10. That's cool. I can make sequences here. Well, what's actually happening? The way we can figure this out is we can use printf. So let's printf, we have numbers, so we can use percent %d as a number specifier, and then we'll put a new line after the number. So for every argument we give printf, we're gonna print it like a number, put a new line, and then do that for every single argument. This is something really cool about printf and bash. That's how it functions. So what does that mean? Look what's happening here. Every single number that's generated here is being passed as a separate argument to printf. This is important. We can prove this. I have a little helper script here called args. Args is a really, really simple script. It just tells you the number of arguments something was called with. So if I call args on its own, we get zero arguments. If I call args with foobar baz, we get three arguments. If I call with one dot dot 10, we get 10 arguments. Hey, cool, that's awesome. So what can we do here? What if we give it a lot of arguments, like a lot of arguments, like three, one, two, three, how about a million arguments? Will this work? Yeah, it does work. It's kind of interesting. It seems like a million would be too many, right? Um, we can go ahead and pipe this to dev. There's too much data here. Let's just write it to dev null. So this way it can actually kind of go a little bit faster. So did that work? It worked. So why did that work? Well, here's why it worked. Echo is a shell built in. We're not forking and execing an external tool. We are using the shell built in echo. There is bin echo. There is an external command tool or a command, um, external command that we can use. So what does that mean? Let's go ahead and rerun that same echo command, but let's use bin echo instead. There we go. Argument list too long. That's because we were trying to write it to an external command and not to the built-in. So what's happening? What is this limit? Is there a limit to the number of arguments we can have? Kind of. Different operating systems will have different ways of showing this. I'm on my Mac. I think this works on Linux as well. You can do get conf argmax, and you can see we have this number here. What is that number? Well, I won't keep you in suspense. That is one times 1024. Ugh, didn't type that right. Times 1024 times 1024. That's what that number is. That is one megabyte. So the argmax is one megabyte of data. There's a reason for this. It's because the arguments are gonna be passed uh, through the stack and there's like a limited amount of memory space for that. So the limit itself is not number of arguments. It's the size of the argument data. There's some other logistics behind it and different operating systems will handle it differently. So it's not like one million is going to be a magic number here. There's just going to be a certain point where you will hit this limit. So here, I can actually illustrate that. We counted up to one million and we use the built-in echo, that will work. We can save this. We can save this into a variable and now we just have a really large string named $s. So $s, if we were to run it through bin echo, it still fails. But wait, wasn't there only one argument? $s is just one argument. Yeah, so you can see argument list too long. It's only one argument, but it's just too big. So it's not a number of arguments, it's, uh, it's the total size of the argument. So whether you have one argument that's gigantic or a million small arguments, you're gonna run into the same issue. So what can we do about this? Well, if you use the bash built-ins, you avoid this, you don't have to worry about it. It's actually the process of calling exec, the fork and execing on your system to create new processes. It's the exec, exec syscall that's failing to run here. So built-ins, hey, that's gonna work totally fine. You got a function in bash and you wanna take a million arguments? Yeah, that's fine. Probably be slow, but it'll work. Um, so let's talk about ways to get around this. The classic one, the one that I really like is xargs. So let's talk about this. We had that printf before where we did this, let's do one up into, let's just do 100,000. We don't need to go to a million, millions a little bit crazy. We can pipe this to xargs bin echo, and hey, it works, right? This looks amazing. That's exactly what we wanted. How did that work? Well, I'll show you. Let's pipe it to our program called args. Look at that. Do you see what happens here? It batched them up. So this args program was called 
this many times, and each one was called with 5,000 arguments. So Exargs is aware of the limits. Exargs is the program that batched them up. Um, if you're using a basic version of Exargs, it should work. If you have the GNU version of Exargs, I think there's even ways to see the limits and all sorts of things like that. Uh, there's parallelization options. Exargs is wild. It's probably going to be the topic of its own video. But for now, this is how you get around argument lists too long. This is why it happens and how to deal with it with external tools. So yeah, there you go. And real quick, just want to give a quick shout out to my patrons over at Patreon. Thank you for your continued support. That is super cool. Uh, shout out to Fractal, Bubsky, Nick and Hawk and everyone else in the Bin SH uh, group down there. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You make this content possible.